Greetings to everyone out there. Thank you for tuning into the Simple Biz 360 podcast. My name is Jeff Mason. I'm your host for the next five minutes. You can find us on 28 audio directories, uh, YouTube, Rumble TV, and at our URL home, simplebiz360.com. Coming to you from the wonderful studios called Half Coast Studios, Creekcore, Missouri, St. Louis suburb. You want a video recorded? You want a song recorded? You want a speech? You want an advertisement? Boom. These guys are the guys that do it. Love it. Luck. I'm here every week. Have been since mid October of 2019. So today we're going to be talking about the power of customer micro journeys. What in the world is this guy talking about? Well, you know, every time we take a customer down the transaction road, right, it's it's kind of a journey. The destination obviously is a happy customer at the end of this, this nice, well-done transaction. But there's all these little pieces in between that we call little journeys. There's all these little stop-offs. There's all these little A goes to B, B to C, C to D, and next thing you know, you're at R, and boom, you're at the end of the road, and you've gone through, you know, all these different micro-journeys on the way to finishing the big journey. So our question today is, have you ever drilled down as a company into your micro journeys? Have you ever put them on a spreadsheet? Have you ever just taken them and dissected them to that level? Well, you know, we call it standard tracks act, tra- <laughs> standard transactional steps, STS. Why don't you take an Excel sheet out? Why don't you, every, everybody get in a boardroom one day, a conference room and map out all the different micro journeys your customer takes with you on the average transaction and see what the touch points are, see what you're doing and, and really examine it from that angle, right? So just get them all together and take a look and calibrate these STS, standard transactional steps, right? And then once you've done that, have the team go through the steps. Hey, you know, rate the good, right? Rate the average, rate the bad, right? Just, just I identify, make a column for each, you know, you know, good, average, bad. What are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? What what really sounds hanky? What comes off weird? What's too clunky? What's too time consuming? What's too arduous for the customer to do? What doesn't sound good? What doesn't feel good? Look at it from these different metrics and try to figure out, you know, is, are there opportunities for improvement now? Once you've done this, I guarantee that once you finish this exercise, you're going to be able to do the following, fix the bad, elevate the average, enhance the good, shorten the overall process, and enhance the overall experience with the customer. I think those are the byproducts of doing this little STS exercise. So, you know, if you ever really wanted to have some fun on a company-wide project uh, to really dissect how you do things, do it this way. We used to do it in the apparel business. Uh, when you make a, when you make pants, I was in the pant business for many years. When you make pants in the what they call 807 uh, arena, which is Central America and South America, you break your pant production down into standard assembly minutes. They call them SAMs. Same thing, STS. You're breaking your transaction down into steps. You can time it if you want, but I think it's more important here just to look at the steps, rate the steps, enhance the steps, modify them, re- revise them, remove some of the clunky ones. And in the end, man, hopefully you can give the customer a little shortened process. Hopefully the the transaction process will be condensed. It'll be more streamlined, be more customer friendly, more customer centric. And you know what? You'll have fun bonding as a company too, I think. I really do think if you get together and do it, you'll find out it's a lot of fun. So we're going to dip back today to a band you probably haven't heard of, Celtic Rock, right out of Ireland. These guys are called Horse Slips, and they did a tune in 1978 that just caught my eye. I went to see them in concert one time. It was a whole lot of fun. Man Who Built America. So enjoy it, and just remember, those globalists are coming for you. I don't want to see you in the cricket soup line in 2031, so let's make sure that we do our best to stop the onslaught of globalism. Protect your country. Protect your country, Germany, UK, France, Netherlands, and the USA. Protect them. 40% of the world's going to vote this year. Go out and vote. Make something happen, folks. We'll see you in 168 hours.